If we give him leverage on Holmes, what's gonna stop that bitch from wanting to kill us? Tell us what this sneaky bitch is up to. No one's my client. The allegiance is with me. I'm hearing she's making more moves. Yeah, I already got a plan for her. Detective Carter's after you. Killing the cop ain't easy. I don't think we have a choice. Hacking down is not an option. Hands back a deal! What's up, with the ass niggas? This your boy, Jay Miles, and now I'm back with another video. And you know what to do. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking, but most importantly, make sure you share it for your glad friends. On today's video, we will be covering Power, Book 2 Ghosts, and this one right here is the final predictions. That's right, this will be my last video of the day before we get the episode and i know i'm rushing a lot of them out but you know of course i had to give y'all my last and my final predictions on what i think will happen this particular episode and it is always enjoyable to see how my you know predictions weigh out once the episode has aired so without further ado let's just go ahead and get into it so what we have here, and as you can see, the police need to stop, get away from my damn apartment, making all that damn noise. But anyways, um, what we have here is episode eight synopsis. Um, we have Tariq and, Bra Tariq and Monet try to leverage a way to get out from under Carter. Karen and Drew compete for the streets. An incident with Braden's relationship with L sends him off the deep end. That is our synopsis for episode eight. So, in my, you know, opinion of reading all of this, we're going to be seeing, you know, Tariq and company making moves to try to figure out what is Carter's weak point in order to try and get it successfully get away from under him because he is hell as we all know and of course you got Kane and Drew that are going to be competing for the streets and as I already told y'all since the beginning before this episode I mean before this season even aired that ultimately Kane will end up taking out Drew and I'm still standing by that so um after that, um, you know, it says Braden's relationship with L sends him out to, off the deep end. Well, we all know that I also predicted that L would be out of here this particular episode, and I think that's going to make Braden go absolute nuts. So let's just go ahead and get into exactly how I see it. So we're starting things off. You got Detective Iglad Don Carter, he along with you. And I believe here they're possibly, you know, having a plan, setting plans on, you know, what it is they're going to do to try to get Noma under Carter's thumb. And, you know, Drew is kind of enjoying this because he sees himself finally as that top dog. Because, you know, he wanted to be Noma's number two, never really got to quite do that because she chose Kane. And then, you know... With Monet, it was kind of crazy. And then, you know, Lorenzo was only there for a small time, so he never really got to be here with that. So I think he, he's going to really be enjoying this to finally be able to embrace that someone's picking, you know, looking at him as their second in command. And I think he's going to try to use the, the power that he has with Carter to try and take down Kane and take over the streets. So, in my opinion, like I said already, I think it might be possible that Drew could tell them that Carter, that Davis is a huge part of, you know, getting that organization of Domas into his hands. Because, you know, Davis is, the, is one of the brains of the operation. He's the one that, you know, doing, that does all the legal work and, uh, you know, protects them. So if they can, they can successfully, you know, flip him on his side, then the rest of them will fall like dominoes. 
that's probably their philosophy. But you know, I I, I really have no idea. This I'm I'm going to say I know I said this about the last episode, but I think this was actually pretty challenging to predict too. But I did pretty well with episode seven. So let's go ahead and continue. We get to next. I think we might see another appearance from your boy Rashad Tate. Because keep in mind, at the end of last episode, he did tell um, Carter that, you know, if he needed anything, he could reach out. So I know a lot of folks believed we had a lot of speculation of whether or not he took, um, he believed Carter when he said that it was that Iglad Russian dude who took out his brother Kamal. Some said they do think he believed, some say they, that he didn't buy it. My opinion, I think he did buy it, but he's later on going to know that that mind is his hell. But anyways, I think he's going to possibly use Tate's resources to strengthen his power on the streets and maybe even use him to help flip Davis. Next, we got to Uglad Carter again. Uh, he's sitting at his office. I just think this right here is probably something important. Like maybe he's having a very important conversation with some individual. This could very well, this could very well be Davis, and he's calling them in, letting them know all the information that he got on him, and that if he don't play ball, he's going to make his crimes public. So next we go ahead. We got to Tariq and Monet, and they're having a, a meeting with uh, Davis, and. You see that the confused looked on Tariq's face because he's like, dude, how the hell are you loyal to Noma? Because, you know, David tells Tariq that Noma's my client when basically they're asking, you know, what have that, what have um, Noma been up to? So, like I said, I think it might be possible that Davis could be wired and he's trying his best not to get Tariq in any criminal information similar to how Joe Proctor was doing with ghosts. So that could be it. He he's wearing a wire and he's only his only intentions is to take down Noma because that's gonna be the target. But anyways next you see we're gonna get the introduction of Effie's mom. She's gonna come up to the Stansfield school in hunt of um Effie because she hasn't been answering her calls and apparently she's broken up with the lab husband of her that was molesting Effie and she was letting him know um, she's broke and she kind of needs some cash but Effie wasn't having it she like man your little lad gonna show up at my school just for that talking about the how this lad nigga left you and stuff like that shoot that sounds like a you problem lad nigga which it do but anyways Next, you got your girl, Anya. So Anya, I believe she's going to uh, possibly get information that it's possible that Kane will become her stepfather. And I believe she's going to be very upset about that. She's going to be like, look, I just lost my dad not too long ago. And now you're going to have me looking at a guy that's barely older than me as my stepdad. No, nah, I ain't with that last shit. But... I know I did see an exclusive clip, even though I don't have it up in this my in my um predictions video, but of Kane handing her something. Some speculated there was money. Some even speculated that it was a listening device to possibly maybe what have Anya um catch Tariq on some kind of information. I don't really know about that. I, I seriously doubt Anya would agree to try to catch Tariq with something. But I do think that it's possible that she may end up hearing some information about her mom's criminal uh, enterprise that she ain't supposed to hurt. And maybe later on she'll have a conversation with Tariq and Tariq just go ahead and be honest and confirm it for her. But hey, I guess we'll have to look out for that. Next, we got your girl Elle, I think. It's possible, like I said, that the boy Stokely got her a new plug so that they can get away from under Tariq and Brayden. And I believe whoever this new supplier will be will have give her some lace drugs that will ultimately send her to the hospital. And in the hospital, she will go. Of course, your boy Brayden is going to be there for her. But I think ultimately, she will pass away and 
This is going to be the event, the event that sends Braden to the deep end. Next, we got, of course, Braden and Tariq talking in the dorm room. And I, basically, Braden's not happy about, you know, having to do, have a setback about this ugly card and stuff. And Tariq, like, look, the mind ain't the tail. He come like Alonzo Harris. What you want me to do? So, basically, I think they're going to come up with a plan maybe after they figure out about the L thing. Like I said, I do think that drug supplier could be, you know what I'm saying, somebody that, that dude that they had the gun on could be somebody that was linked to whatever happened to L. Or maybe he's a um, linked to Carter, whichever one. But all we know is that, as you can see here, they will come and break into what looks like to be this guy's apartment, rush him up, and I think their plan to they plan was to originally rough him up. And then get some information. Now, whether it's information about, you know, what he had on L or possibly Carter, I think the guy is going to mess around and do or say something that's going to make Braden furious. And he will ultimately pop him, taking him out. And, of course, like I just said, they wasn't originally planning to take him out. So, as we can see, both Braden and Tariq, didn't have on gloves, and Tariq's going to be furious at Brayden because he's like, dude, how are you going to just shoot this man like this in the, in the, um, in the middle of an apartment complex where, you know, he's probably got neighbors, we ain't got no gloves, we didn't plan to change the clothes so that we can hurry up and get rid of the evidence. Like, you tripping, bro. That's what I see going on here. But anyways, next, you get back to your boy, bro, Drew. And I think Drew in this particular... Um, Part is probably getting ready to, or possibly even coming from, more than likely getting ready to, set up his positioning for to try to take over the streets and launch the all-out assault on Kane to be the person that's over the streets. Because, of course, you know, Carter would love to have this happen because if he... If Drew is successful and able to take the streets away from Kane, now Carter controls all of it. Because keep in mind, Carter doesn't have any control over Kane right now because he's with Noma. The, the mission is to take over and bring Noma to the team, which will also bring Kane along. So that's what I believe is going on here. Next, I do think still that it's a very sad possibility, but it could happen that the Russians – could get upset because they think Effie set her up in the, at the uh, restaurant two episodes ago, and they decide to pay her a visit and ultimately cancel Christmas on my girl Effie. It's all right, boo. We still love you. We'll remember you. Don't worry. But next, we got um the girl Noma and Kane, and I believe here they're having a meeting with Tariq and Brayden, I mean with Tariq and Monet, about how ugly this nigga Carter is. Because like I said, I think Drew is going to be shaking things up. And of course, you know Carter has already been ugly. So they're going to start to become a very powerful dynamic duo. And of course, with the extra resources and, you know, other task force members that Carter has, they're starting to become um, a real nuisance to this organization. So in order to get... Some kind of, um, you know, in order for them to gain some kind of control, they're going to have to gain leverage against someone, against Carter. And that's when they go ahead and get a hold to, of course, Detective Nico, who is now, I believe, a free agent. And since he's a free agent, I believe he's going to be open to working with Kane and Noma for the right price, of course. And the reason why he flipped on uh, Carter, obviously, is because of him being not being honest about the situation with Kamal Tate. And he was able to read that. So he's going to be a free agent. And I think Kane and Noma will eventually win him over. Next, you got your glad boy Carter again. He's thinking about something that he ain't as hell about. But, you know, I think... Um, I think he's going to be setting up things to really be into position to win. But unfortunately, 
it's going to get real ugly for him because I think in the midst of him um, setting up things, and you, you, um, you've seen him with the cameras where he was watching No One Davis. I think there's all going to be a setup. They're going to lead him to a particular location by him thinking, letting him think that he's, he's trapping them. And ultimately, I, like, Tariq is going to pull the okie doke, let Tate know that this man is ugly as hell. He's the one who probably took out your brother. And Tate will to put two and two together. And possibly they even have Nico confirm it. And then, you know, they're going to flip him. So I think here possibly what they have in this, um, this meeting here um, between Davis and Noma, um, they're probably here possibly establishing an alibi because they're doing some dirty work. And they're probably discussing um, plans and stuff on what it is they're going to do for the future as far as, you know, normal citizenship, et cetera. But anyways, I already told y'all in another video that I believe that it's very much possible that these guys could belong to um, Congressman Tate. Because keep in mind, like in season six of the last Original Power, Season 6, um, Tate had a couple of officers that was uh, assigned directly to him, and he used them to ultimately, you know, get a hold of Ghost. And I think he's using this team to take down Carter. And I think it's possible that it was Nico who set him up, and Nico who set him up, because I believe that's Nico and Carter that is in this, in this van right here. I could be wrong, but if it is them that's in this van, he, they're getting busted, and of course, once they're busted, I can see them ultimately taking um, taking your boy um, Carter to you to Rashad Tate, and Rashad Tate will get his wish to blow the brains out of the man who took his brother away from him. So, that is pretty much what I hear. I know I kind of rushed through with you guys because I didn't have much time. Um, I had a pretty freaking busy day today. And as you can see, this is what? My fourth video that I put out in um, a few, these um, whatever hours I've been having. So, you know, I kind of had to be a little quick with it. But... For the most part, you know, I was able to get through a lot of these things. Some of this may come to pass. But like I said, this is a pretty difficult um, episode to predict because they didn't give us it as much. And um, I don't know. One thing for sure, like I said, the things that I think is a shoe-in to happen that will happen is L will be taken out. I now think it's a pretty high percent chance that Effie might. And uh, let's see. Of course, we're going to have, um, we may potentially have a showdown between Drew and Kane again. But I, honestly, I don't think Kane is taking him out until next episode, the episode nine. But hey, we could be wrong. It might happen here. But one thing's for sure is that I am super excited and ready to see what what's going to happen. But, uh, you know. Like usual, if you're cool with me, fool with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking. But most importantly, make sure you share it with your glad friends. But until the next video, I'm out.